Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are doing the fall Fat Fit Fun unboxing. I am so excited. Fall is definitely one of my favorite seasons. Uh, no, okay, it's my favorite season. <laughs> I love the you know the leaves and the cool air. I don't like cold. I like cool. Cool enough for a sweater to keep you warm, but not cold enough to need a heavy jacket. That's that's my happy place. Um, I've actually already decorated my whole entire house for fall and it's just I'm living my best life. So I cannot wait to see what is in here. Now they did have a add-ons portion and I did buy uh, these were like um, roasting marshmallow sticks I thought was really cool. We needed something like that to make s'mores in our house. Um, so they're like these little metal, metal poles, forks where you can roast the marshmallows but the hand in the handle is wooden um, and it came in like a set of 12 so that was really cool. Excited. Okay so um, the first thing we have is from Dr. Brandt uh, this is a hydrating essence I actually have I don't think I have any essence in my collection this is gonna be really nice to try um, especially the fact that it's like a spray and not really something I have to dab and you know use a cloth on my face so that's really cool Okay, so the next item we have in here is from Black. This is Pumpkin Fresh Peepers. Uh, minimizes puffiness and dryness. This is uh, an eye mask. I love these masks. These are my favorite. And the fact that they are like pumpkin, that definitely makes me happy. All right, the next item we have. Oh, I'm so excited because I just emptied my shampoo and conditioner today. <laughs> so this is the Living Proof Full Conditioner. We have the conditioner and the shampoo. Um, and this is supposed to add fullness and volume. Very excited for these. Okay, the next item we have is from Fenty Beauty. Ah, so excited for this. This is the Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Unbutton. So this is what it looks like here. I've actually never really tried one of these, um, but I hear they're awesome. So I cannot wait to try this. Actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and wipe this off and put this on and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys ready? Mm -mm. This is definitely not a shade for me. Ready? This is just way too... I don't even know. It's like a peachy nude. I feel like it's too light for me. What do you think? I mean, when I first applied it, I was like, oh no. But now as it's drying down, it's not as bad. Maybe if I actually had an eye look on, it would do more justice. But I will say that the formula is really drying. Like I feel it sucking the life out of my lips. <laughs> so I'm glad that this is in here because I would not just run out and buy one now. Um, yeah, I don't think this is going to be for me. Okay, we have two more items in here. So the next item is a Luxie eye brush set. This makes me happy because of all the brushes that I get, I really enjoy getting eye brushes. So these will be definitely be put to a lot of good use. And I like Lexi brushes. They're actually really good quality. Okay, so we got four. This is like a flat shader brush. Um, this one is a concealer brush, but I probably would just use this to pack on eyeshadow. Uh, this one is a blending brush. I like that it's smaller, so it'll be a lot easier to work in my crease since I have hooded lids. And then this is just a short shader brush, um, which is also going to be good for smoking out my under eye. So yeah, I'm happy to have those. And last but not least, <laughs> I chose these because um, I couldn't find certain ones to my old other set that I have downstairs. I think one of my kids might have, I, who knows what they did with it. So these are just a set of some measuring spoons. This is actually a pretty big set. I'm super excited for it. Um, this actually has quite a bit on here. One fourth teaspoon, half a teaspoon, one teaspoon, one tablespoon. Oh, and so it's two little sets. You got the bigger ones and the small ones. One fourth cup, one third cup, 
half a cup and one cup. Nice, awesome, love this. <laughs> this is going straight to my kitchen. And this is one of the things that I love about FabFitFun. Yes, I have my beauty products and my beauty subscriptions uh, take care of that very well. But FabFitFun is when I definitely get a chance to get something a little bit more than just makeup or uh, skincare or whatever. It gives me a chance to have things for around my house that I need or want or whatever. So these are definitely a need and a want for me. The marshmallow roasting sticks, those are definitely a want. Those are going to be super fun. My kids are going to love it. Uh, but yeah, let's go to the FabFitFun. Um, I have the app and let's go over everything in the box. So the shampooing and conditioner set is $60. That is a lot of money, $30 for that little itty bitty bottle. I don't think I would ever pay that personally um, because I'm on a little bit of a tighter budget, but we're still gonna try it. <laughs> the bamboo measuring cups for $28. Um, these actually seem really, really nice and really sturdy. It is a like a two piece set, so I don't know how much that would typically go for. The Fenty Beauty Lip is $26. The Luxie Eye Set is $64. Whew. I mean, I like Luxie brushes, but that is very, very expensive. I would not pay that personally. Um, I would rather just use e.l.f. brushes or um, Wet n Wild brushes, even uh, BH brushes. That's just, that's just a lot of money for these little baby things. Uh, so wouldn't pay that. Do I like them? Yes, I'm gonna use them, absolutely. The eye patches is $29. Now in here, we do get five. And then the essence, the spray essence is $35. So let's add that up. So the total of this box is $242. Like I said, there are just some things in here that I would not purchase personally. Um, but is it a good value for the box? Absolutely. Is it more of a fall base box? Doesn't really feel that way. I remember some of my first boxes from fall from FabFitFun, you had like, you know, a warm scarf or a shawl or a, a beanie or just something that gave you that coziness vibe and I did not get that this time. But um, do I like the box? It's okay. You know, it, it's definitely okay. I wouldn't say it's the best box ever. I'm so excited for it. Fall, yay. No, I wouldn't say any of that. Do what I, I say it's okay. Um, definitely not the worst box ever because there are good products in here. Just... I think I was anticipating definitely more fall than just one item uh, with pumpkin. But you know, everybody has their own expectations and um, yeah, <laughs> maybe it was my, my choices that I did. I don't remember all the different choices that they had. Maybe they did have some of the uh, cozy things that I thought about, but maybe I chose something different. I don't remember. Okay. so. Sorry, I just don't. But uh, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a big ol' thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.